and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to yet another episode of the 3 in the 13th show. I'm 3, jersey number 3, Varun. And I am 30, jersey number 13, Rakov. So today's guest is someone who became world number 1 at the age of 15. He conquered the World Junior Championships in badminton. He won the silver medal at the Junior World Badminton Championships in 2015 and thereby becoming world number one junior badminton player. After his exploits of the junior circuit, he is representing the senior men's team in the tournaments across the world and very recently won a gold medal for India in the South Asian Games, thereby proving his medal on the senior circuit. Our very own, Cyril Badma. Hi everyone. So Cyril, you were junior world number one when you were just 16 back in January 2016. Everybody knew that turning your dream into reality will be very tough. How did you manage to do it? And also, what was the feeling that you had when you realized that you had achieved a dream which millions of badminton players across the globe dream of every day? First of all, I'm very happy to become a uh, world number one in under 19. So everyone was everyone's dream to become under 19 world champion or an under 19 world number one in the rankings. So I think uh, we've uh, I've worked really hard on court and off court to achieve that feat. So everyone's want to become a champion. So I think we should work really hard to achieve that dream. The role of a coach is. Uh predominantly the most important role in an athlete's life. And your coach is one of the greatest minds to have ever played the game and now coaching the great Pulela Gopi Chand. How is it being coached by him? First of all, I'm very happy to get a coach like him. He's an amazing coach. He's a very... A uh, good player, he became an All England champion, so his experiences means a lot for me to become a champion. Coach role is very important throughout the tournament, in the coaching or like while practice. Coach is very important for us to focus on our game or to train. And you know when you're playing a under pressure match, so he gives you major, major like uh, opinions or something like that. So it helps me a lot. I think it helps for everyone. Coach is very important role in badminton in any sport. I feel blessed to get a coach like him. Chadil Verma, we know, has a very philosophical thought process. And we know that you have been an ardent fan of the Bhagavad Gita. So please tell us what is it that you have learned from Bhagavad Gita that you imbibe on the pitch that gives you success every single day. Yeah, I read a lot of philosophical books. I think uh, it excites me a lot. I think in Bhagavad Gita, it's a different kind of a book which motivates me every day. So one of the best quotes which motivates me is like, just focus on work, don't focus on your results. So every day I just wake up and I read one quote in Bhagavad Gita which helps me a lot to get uh, to train better. That quote because uh, it's it, it, it can implement in any situation because when you're playing under under pressure match when it's 19 or like it's 20 or when you focus on the point so I think just focus on your strokes not on the point or not on the winning just focus on the stroke which stroke are you going to play I think it helps me a lot for, I think it, it helps me a lot so Cyril while researching for the show we noticed that you follow personalities like uh, Musk and Jeff Bezos right. So, um, what is uh, it about them that appeals to you? Their intellect as to how to handle life and work? Uh, does that apply to sports as well? What's your go-to move when you're under pressure? See, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates are they're very successful personalities in the history. So, I follow their work ethic. Everyone, I think it's it. We can implement our work ethic in any kind of things, sports, business, or education. So we can implement in anything. So I think uh, they are my role models, which they motivate me a lot. So I just see their videos when I'm down or when I'm sad. So I just see their videos, how they came up, how they're successful. So it just motivates me. So I like uh, Elon Musk a lot. So. 
So Cyril, traveling, traveling, traveling has been very, very much for you since the time you became a star and that too in very early days. So what is the best thing and the worst thing about traveling? And what are the three most essential things that you carry whenever you travel apart from your training kit? Uh, I like traveling, so which I think uh, whenever I travel like this, I think uh, it excites me a lot because I can I could see a new country, new place where I, wherever I can go after my matches, I can visit some place. So the worst thing which <laughs> for the traveling is like I can't sit a lot of time, a lot of time in the flight. So the three things what I keep from badminton books, my headphones, my tab which I can watch movies. You were part of the Hyderabad Hunters in the Premier Badminton League. What was your experience with all those world-class players in the team? In 2016, I represented Hyderabad Hunters in the Premier Badminton League. I think I've, uh, I have a very good players in the team. Lee chong Wei, Marcus Kido, Morgan Sims. They are the badminton legends and they are my heroes. So I think uh, playing uh, with Lee Chong Wei or practicing with him, it gives it gave me a lot more experience because he's a uh, legend. So he used to tell me how I have to train, how I have to be disciplined, how I have to focus on my game, focus on my training, food, everything. So I've learned so much from him. So one day I want to become like him. Were a kid when badminton players like Shrikant Kidambi and Parupali Kashyap were on a rise, and now you are playing amongst them training with them so how is it and what is the feeling that you have you know being amongst your childhood heroes maybe and what is the one advice that you would like to give to all the young and aspiring badminton players see uh, like when i started playing like when i'm coming when i'm winning a uh, national tournaments under 17 under 15 shrikant uh, shrikant kashyap sai guru Pranay and Chindu Saina, they were playing really well in the international stages. Like that time, uh, Kashyap won Commonwealth, Srikant won the first Indian to win the Super Series, and Sindhu won the Olympics. So they've inspired me a lot. So every day, about, like while training, training with them. So when I was in junior, so they used to guide me how I have to practice, how I have to be disciplined on court, how I have to manage my diet. So later, when I'm playing with them, so when I'm playing against them, like on practice so like they used to tell me so when I'm, they, they tell me like just you have to play uh, you have to focus 100 and you have to focus 100 percent because when you're playing against me you should be more focused on court so they guide me very well by playing against them also so in tournament they help me a lot in tournament i play f so freely because of their guidance uh, i think they have to be really disciplined and, and they have to work really hard to achieve their dreams all right sir out with it your most embarrassing or funny moment on court the world wants to know. Mm, I think when I'm playing very easy match, my friends were teasing me as a spectator. So that was a funny moment when I'm playing while playing a match, very easy match. Which current women's badminton team player would you like to team up with? And who would you want your opponents to be in a mixed doubles match? Mm, I think I, I want to play with Carolina Mayer and opponents like I can play with anyone. I don't have that uh, like that uh, dream to play against them. Like I want to play with Carolina Marin because she, I like her fighting spirit on court. And like she's very friendly. Like uh, she wants to play. Uh, like I've seen her playing with us in the PBL Premier Badminton. Like she's very good. So she's uh, I like her fighting spirit. So I want to play against uh, play with her in mixed doubles. So Cyril, tell us the one thing that athletes do at international tournaments. What happens to them uh, that we all do not know about? See, like uh, people see uh, just matches and all. I think uh, people doesn't know that we practice a lot during tournaments. We train and we we like uh, just get ready for the matches. We see the we see our opponent matches and we get ready during the tournaments, which people don't know. So there are three questions in it. The most famous person on your contact list. What is it that you fear the most? And what is your greatest achievement till now? Uh, my best achievement, I think, uh, under 19 World Championship Finals and ABC under under, the, under 15 ABC and uh, I won, I got a uh, silver in Russian Open. These are my favorite 
achievements and the fear the most uh, I think right now like I don't have so that kind of fear sign I am single which feeling was better said in? it's a tough one winning the badminton Asia youth championship or becoming the junior world number one uh, mm. World Championships, Under-19 World Championships. So, Under-19 World Number 1 is a, just a ranking. So, if you play, if you win the World Championships, I think obviously you will achieve that World Number 1. So, for me, World Championship is more important. Lee Chong Wei or Lin Dan? Who's the better player? Mm, uh, Lee Chong Wei is a better player, I guess. And in major tournaments, Lin Dan is, Lin Dan is very good in major tournaments. But Lee Chong Wei, overall, Lee Chong Wei is a better player. You get to keep one medal, which one would it be? The silver medal in 2015 Junior Championship or the gold medal in the South Asian Championships in 2019? I would keep under 19 World Championships because it's most prestigious. Would you rather be the best player in the world and never win an Olympic medal or win an Olympic medal and never win any other tournament? Oh, see, uh, Everyone's dream is to become an Olympic champion. Even for me, uh, for me to become an Olympic champion is the most important thing. And I want to win a medal for my country. That's most. That's my dream. And I want to become a best player also. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, from someone who has been world number one at the junior stage and is aspiring to be world number one at the senior stage. His story, his words, for all of us to be inspired. Thank you. Next week, we bring to you another story of another champion for all of us to be inspired. Till then, be safe.